Hello students, in previous brief course activity video, we have learned about the contents from that is 13th July to uh, 18th July. Today we are going to discuss with you some basic concepts from maths that is the content given in the bridge cross from 19th July to 25th July. Let us study about the contents given in those days. First of all, see here, all of you studied about the algebraic expressions. Then, algebraic expressions, what are the algebraic expressions? These are the expressions in which the alphabets are used and numericals are used and the expression which is expressed, represented with the degree of that uh, variables is called as algebraic expressions. Then for examples, few examples of algebraic expressions are that is 3x. See here, the alphabet x is used, which is known as variable. Here, 3 numerical is used, which is known as coefficient. And the exponent of that x, degree of that x is 1. And that is the exponent or degree of that algebraic expression. That means 3x is one of the algebraic expression. Like that, few more examples. That is 5x plus 7, x square plus 5x plus 9. These are the few examples of like that we can write 5y cube. 3x minus 2y are also the few examples of algebraic expressions. Then see here, out of this 3x that algebraic expression which contains only one term like that 5y cube which is also contains one term and that 3x that term which contains the numerical here in which 3 is coefficient coefficient whereas x is variable x is variable and here there is only x is given therefore its degree is 1. Then here 1 is degree of variable and that means here coefficient variable and degree of that variable it makes one term and here like that there are also few algebraic expressions which contains two terms, three terms or four terms. Together these all called as polynomials. 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 Poly means many and many terms. It is an algebraic expression which contains many terms. Then see here. The polynomials can be classified into different types. That is, all of you studied about that. First one, monomial. That monomial which contains only, mono means one. One term. The, it is algebraic expression which contains only one term. For example, here 3x and phi u y q these are the monomials in which only one term is there here in phi u y q phi u is coefficient y is variable 3 is degree see here in any polynomial the degree of every variable it should be whole number or it must be positive integer it should not be negative integer for example if here phi u y raised to minus 2, then this 
algebraic expression is not a polynomial. That means the degree of that polynomial, degree of that algebraic expression, degree of that variable in the term of that polynomial, it should be positive integer. Then it is a polynomial. Then monomial, for example, 3x, 5y cube, minus 9, x cube, or 3 upon 2, 5u, y square. These are the few examples. 3 upon 2, y square. These are the few examples of monomials. Then, see here, the second one that is binomial. Binomials. Binomials binds two terms. These are the algebraic expressions which contains two terms. For example, 5x plus 7 is one of the binomial. And here 3x minus 2y is also another example of binomial. Then see here, it contains two terms. Between two terms, plus sign or negative signs are there. Then each term contains coefficient, variable and its degree. Then see here in first term, phi u is coefficient, x is variable and here 1 is degree of this term. Then here 7 which does not contain variable and that term is called as constant term. Constant term. When variable is not there in the term, then that term is constant term. But we can write this term using variable and its degree. For example, constant term that can be written like this. 7, here variable is x and degree of that x variable is 0. That, that is 7x raised to 0 means 7. Therefore, this binomial we can write like this also 5x raised to 1 plus 7x raised to 0. That is the standard form or general form of that polynomial. Similarly, see here, there are also two terms in which 3 is coefficient, x is variable, degree is 1. Minus 2 is coefficient of second term, y is variable and 1 is degree. Similarly, there are trinomials or trinomials trinomials which contains three terms in the algebraic expression. For example, here, see here, x square plus 5x plus 9 which contains three terms and each term contains coefficient variable and degree. 9 is a constant term. Then, the polynomial, it is an algebraic expression which is given in the form of, that is, which contains variable, uh, coefficient and degree of variable and in which degree of that variable should be positive integer. Then, any variable, any polynomials, we can write in its standard form. For example, see here, x square plus 5x plus 9 is also one of the polynomial which can be write in standard form. See here, the standard form of this polynomial is here, x square term is there, of which coefficient we cannot see here. That means here, coefficient is 1. Therefore, 1x one square here, first term contains coefficient variable and its degree plus 5x. Degree is not seen here. Therefore, here degree is 1. 5x raised to 1, that is the second term, plus 9, that is the constant term, which can be written like this, 9x raised to 0. That means, see here, this polynomial contains three terms and which is arranged this according to the descending order of the degrees of variables. See here, 2, 1 and 0 are the degree of each polynomial. 
we can write the same polynomial according to the ascending order of their degrees. That means like 9x raised to 0 plus 5x raised to 1 plus 1x raised to 2. That means here degree 0, 1, 2. That is the standard form of that given polynomial. Then when we write the standard form of given polynomial, then we can write the degree of that polynomial. Then degree of this polynomial is degree of polynomial. See here, what is the degree of given polynomial? It is an index. It is a highest index. It is a biggest index. That is biggest exponent of variable given in the polynomial. Then see here, in this expression, 2 is the highest degree. That is here 1x square, where 2 is the highest degree or highest exponent or highest index of given polynomial. Therefore, degree of this polynomial is 2. That means, if we have to write the degree of given polynomial, then we have to write that polynomial in its standard form. Then see here, minus 9x square plus 5 x raised to 5 plus 4 x raised x cube plus 7. Then see here this polynomial we have to write in its standard form. Then we find out the degree of this polynomial. Then see here the highest degree is here is 5. Therefore here first of all we have to write 5 x raised to 5. Then the degree of x variable of which degree is 4 is not given here. Therefore, we have to write 0 x raised to 4. Then we have to write the term with degree 3. Then minus 9 x square. Then the term we have to write 0 x raised to 1 plus 7 x raised to 0. That is C here 5 x raised to 5 plus 0 x raised to 4 plus 4 x cube minus 9 x square plus 0 x raised to 1 plus 7 x raised to 0. That is the standard form of given polynomial. C here 5 4 3 2 1 and 0. Then highest degree is 5. Therefore, degree of above polynomial is 5. That is about the types of different polynomials. Then we can do some operations on that polynomial. Already we have solved about the different operations takes place on given polynomial. Then addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of algebraic expressions of polynomials can be takes place. We will remind few examples of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of given polynomial. Then see here for example addition of Addition of polynomials. Addition of polynomials. For example, see here 5x square plus 2x plus 6. Then we have to add another polynomial in it. That is 5x square minus 3x plus 4. Then we have to add here, see here, plus 6 plus 4 are the like terms because these are constant terms. Here, 2x and 3x are the like terms because here, degree of those variables is 1. When degree of the given term in the polynomial is same, then these are the like terms. Then we can add only like terms or we can subtract only like terms. We cannot add 
dislike terms. See here. Therefore, here two x minus three x. That is then we have to write here minus three plus two minus one x. Six plus four that is ten. And here four x square and five x square are like terms. Therefore, here sine of both are positive. Therefore, four plus five nine x square. That type of examples you have solved in previous standard. Do the practice of this type of examples. Then subtraction, subtraction of polynomial of polynomial. Then the same example that is taken here. That is four x square plus two x plus six. From which we have to sub subtract five x square minus three x plus four. Then, when we do the subtraction of given algebraic expressions or polynomials, then we should not be write the negative sign or here between those two algebraic expression. Instead of that, when we do the subtraction of polynomials. Then change the signs of each term of second polynomial. See here, plus sign is there. Therefore, we have to write minus. We have to reverse the sign that is negative plus. Here, plus sign is there. Therefore, we have to write the minus sign. Then here, plus six minus four. That is two plus two x plus three x. That is Plus five x and four x square minus five x square. Here minus five plus four minus one x square. Then we can also do the practice of this type of examples by solving those type of examples in your textbook. Then one of the example of multiplication of multiplication of polynomial polynomials we have already learnt about the monomial by monomial multiplication of monomials multiplication of monomial with binomial binomial with binomial as well as binomial with polynomials and monomial with polynomials then see here one of the example That is x plus five is a binomial, which is which have to multiply with that is four x square plus two x plus five. Then that is the trinomial. Then see here how to solve this poly example. First of all, write the first term of this binomial that is one x. Then multiply by this term to all terms or the second polynomial. Then see here four x square plus two x plus five. Then plus five into then multiplied with five to the same polynomial. That is four x square plus two x plus five. Then multiply here that one x to the all terms of this given polynomial. Then one x into four x square. See here four into one four x square into x x cube plus two into one two x into x x square five into one five and x is here. Similarly, multiply. By five with this polynomial, each term of this polynomial. Then plus five into four, twenty x square. Five into two, ten x, and five into five, twenty five. Then see here, there are few like terms are there. We can do the addition of only like terms here. Five x and ten x are the like terms. Therefore. Here, four x cube plus two x square plus twenty x square. That is twenty two 
x square. 5x plus 10x that is 15x plus 25 that is the multiplication of polynomials. Then we will solve one of the example of division of the polynomial. See here if the monomial which divides the polynomial then see here division of division of polynomials polynomials here one of the example is given here that is 6x cube plus 8x square that binomial is divided by 2x that is monomial then see here 6x cube plus 8x square is a dividend 6x cube plus 8x square it is a dividend dividend 2x it is a divisor it is a divisor then see here we can do the division of those here 6x cube plus 8x square which is divided by 2x then how to divide binomial by monomial that have already learned in previous standard then see here first of all divide 6x x cube by 2x therefore here 6x cube by 2x then we get that is here x into x therefore here we get 3x square then we have to write this 3x square then we have to multiply those 2x into 3x square therefore here 6x cube then that 6x cube is written here and we have to subtract that term then here 0 we get 0 then the next term which we have to write here 8x square then again the same procedure is done with that 8x square upon 2x that is here 4 here 4x and 4x plus 4x is written here and then we can do the multiplication of 2x and 4x that is 8x square then 8x square we have to write here then we have to subtract those terms therefore these get cancelled then see here 0 is the remainder 0 is the remainder and here quotient that is 3x square plus 4x is a quotient and that is the answer that is the solution of one of the example of division of polynomials then see here we have to remind few concepts related with the algebraic expressions that is the few expansions of algebraic expressions are there and we can find out the factors of few algebraic expressions and we can generalize those expansions and factors of given algebraic expressions. There are different types of algebraic expressions. We can write their factors. Then we have to remind the factors of factors of polynomials. Factors of polynomials. Then see here one of the type of algebraic expression that is a plus b bracket square. All of you have studied about that you can give the expansion of that algebraic expression that is here a square plus 2ab 
plus b square. Then, similarly, we can write one of the example that is 2x plus 5 bracket square. Then we can expand this uh, example, given example like this, using this expansion. Then here 2x is a first term, 5 is second term. That means here 2x is a and 5 is b. Therefore here a square means 2x bracket square. That is 4x square plus 2 into first term into second term plus square of second term. That is 5 square. Therefore here 4x square plus 2 into 2 into 5 that is 20x plus 5 square 21 that is the expansion of given that algebraic expression similarly one more algebraic expression and its expansion that is a minus b bracket square therefore we can write this like a square minus 2ab plus b square. The same example is taken here. 2x minus 5 here. Square. Then we can write the expansion of that is 4x square minus 20x. See here. Plus 25. Similarly, there are few more examples or algebraic expression which is in the form of a square minus b square. Then we can write the factors of this. That is a minus b and a plus b. For example, see here, 4x square minus 81. Then, first of all, we have to write this 2x bracket square minus 9 square. That means this expression is written in the form of a square minus b square. Then, we can write the factors of this expression. That is 2x minus 9 in another bracket, 2x plus 9. Then we can solve or we can see the few more examples like x plus a in another bracket, x plus b. Then here we can write the expansion of x square plus ax plus bx plus a, B. Then, for example, x plus 5 and x plus 2. Then, see here, x square plus here A means 5 and B means 2. Therefore, here 5x plus 2x plus 5 into 2. That means here x square plus 5x plus 2x, 7x plus 10. That is the few examples of algebraic expression. Like that, there are few more algebraic expressions in like in this form. a plus b plus c bracket square. Then we can write the expansion of these. That is a square plus b square plus c square plus a b plus b c plus a c. Sorry, here we have to write 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 a c. Then we can write the example that is p plus q plus 2 bracket square. Therefore, first of all, here first term is p, second term is q and third term is 2. Therefore, p square plus q square plus 2 square, that is 4, plus 2 into p and q, that is 2pq, plus 2 into q into 2, that is 4q, plus 2 into p into 2, therefore 4p. Then, few more algebraic expressions are there, which is in the form of cube that is a plus b bracket cube that is here expansion is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square 
plus b cube as well as a minus b bracket cube here a minus b bracket cube that also expand like this that is a cube plus 3 sorry minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus b cube we can write the expansion of these type of algebraic expressions which is given in the cube form do the practice of these type of examples by taking examples from your textbooks also like that here a cube plus b cube then we can write the factors of these that is here a plus b in another bracket a square minus a b plus b square see here a cube plus b cube therefore here one of the factor is a plus b in another bracket a square minus a b plus b square and a cube minus b cube here the first bracket is a minus b see here focus on the signs given in the factors that is then in another bracket a square plus a b plus b square see here only a b is there not the 2 a b then taking this precautions of signs you have to remind those all algebraic expressions and their factors and their expansions and try to solve the examples which is of these type of expansions and factors of those algebraic expressions then we will remind few geometrical concepts which is given in this bridge course program from 19th July to 25th July. All of you have studied about the construction of triangle if three sides are given which is in previous bridge course video or lecture. Then today we are discussing about the construction of construction of triangle and here conditions are given that is first of all see the construction of triangle if two sides and angle made by those side those sides are given for example we have to construct the uh, that type of construction of triangle by taking one of the example of it then see here we draw triangle ABC in which BC is given 7 cm and angle C is 50 degree and here AC is given that is 2.5 cm then focus here and first of all draw the rough diagram of it that is here first of all we have to write the draw the side BC BC of 7 cm then we have to draw the ray which makes 50 degree angle at C vertex and then using one needle compass we have to take a 2.5 cm distance in it and we have to mark on that ray of length 2.5 at 2.5 cm and then we can join the that point A and B that is the construction of triangle then you have to draw this type of construction here then see here the 
साइड बी सी इज ऑफ सेवन सेंटीमीटर इज गिवन हियर देन हियर सेवन सेंटीमीटर साइड इज टेकन और वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द सेगमेंट बी सी ऑफ सेवन सेंटीमीटर यूजिंग रूलर यूजिंग प्रोट्रैक्टर वी हैव टू मेक द एंगल ऑफ 50 degree at point C, then we can draw the ray passing through that vertex, and then using one needle compass, then see here using one needle compass, then we have to take the distance of 2.5 centimeter. That is of two point five centimeter in one needle compass. Then we have to draw or we have to mark on that ray when one needle needle is taken on point C. Then see here we have to label it as A and to draw the segment AB. Then see here that angle is of fifty degree, and here AC is of two point five centimeter. Similarly, we can draw one more construction. That is, if two angles, two angles are given, and the side between those. Included in those angle and side included in angles of triangle is given. Then see here, draw or construct, draw or construct triangle PQR. In which QR is given of seven point two centimeter. Angle Q is given here fifty two degree, and angle R is given of seventy degree. Then construct the triangle PQ. For this construction, we have to draw first the segment QR is of Length seven point two centimeter. See here, seven point two centimeter using ruler. Here Q and R, Q R segment is of seven point two centimeter. Then using protractor, we have to make the angle at R vertex that is of. Seventy degree, and we have to draw the ray passing through it. See here. Then again make the angle of fifty two degree at point Q. At point Q, that is fifty two degree. Then. We have to draw another ray passing through this point, which makes the angle of fifty-two degree at point Q and angle seventy degree at point R. And here we have to label this point as P. That is the construction of triangles of given conditions. One more concept I am going to remind here, that is about the quadrilaterals. We have studied about quadrilaterals and different types of quadrilateral in previous standard. Then see here quadrilateral. Here, if there are four non Co-linear points are there. 
that is point P, Q, R and yes, these are the four non-collinear points. The closed figure which is obtained by joining those non-collinear points is called as quadrilateral. And see here that quadrilateral we can label it as or represent it as by eight ways. That means here triangle uh, quadrilateral P, Q, R, S or quadrilateral P, S, R, Q. P, S, R, Q. Like this we can write the name of this quadrilateral by eight ways. For example, quadrilateral R, Q, P, S or quadrilateral R, S, P, Q. Like that, quadrilateral S, R, Q, P or quadrilateral S, P, Q, R. Similarly, we can write few names of that quadrilateral. Then, there are few components related with that quadrilateral. That is, see here, side P, S, side P, S and side Q, R and side Q, R are the opposite sides of that quadrilateral. See here, opposite sides of quadrilateral P, Q, R, S. P, Q, R, S. One more pair of opposite side that is side P, Q and side R, S are opposite side of given quadrilateral. Similarly, there are adjacent sides. Adjacent sides means the neighboring sides. Side PS and side SR. Side PS and side SR. As well as side SR and side QR. Side SR and side QR. You may write few more pairs of adjacent sides. There are two more pair of adjacent sides. You must write in your notebook. Then there are four angles are there. And out of that, the opposite angles, pairs, opposite angles of quadrilateral PQRS. That is angle Q and angle Yes, angle Q and angle S yes are the opposite angle pairs as well as angle P and angle R are also opposite angle pairs. Similarly, we can write the adjacent, adjacent angles of given quadrilateral. See here, angle S. Yes and angle R, angle S yes and angle R are the adjacent angles. Similarly, angle R and angle Q are also adjacent angles. You may write two more adjacent angles of that quadrilateral in your textbook. One more concept is there. See here, if we join point P and R, as well as if we draw the segment QS, then see here, diagonals, diagonals of quadrilateral PQR, yes, is, that is side or segment QS and segment PR are the diagonals of that quadrilateral. Then we have to remind the few properties which is related with the rectangle. Rectangle is one of the type of uh, quadrilateral. See here that scale which is of rectangle type. That duster, the face of that duster is of rectangle type. Your notebook, textbooks are of rectangle type. 
blackboard, grabboard, window, door are of rectangle types. Then, what is rectangle? Rectangle or it is also known as right angled quadrilateral. That means, see here, the rectangle A, B, C, D, here, all four angles of that quadrilateral is 90 degree, is of 90 degree, then it is a rectangle. Then there are few properties which is related with rectangle. See here, all four angles, four angles of rectangle, rectangle is of 90 degree. Second one, that is, see here, opposite sides of rectangles are congruent. Opposite sides of rectangle are congruent. Are congruent. That is, AB congruent DC. That means, if AB is of 5 cm, then DC is of 5 cm. AD is of 3 cm, then BC is of 3 cm. Third property, that is, see here, if the diagonals of this rectangle are drawn, that is, AC and BD, which intersects at point O, then those diagonals are congruence. That means diagonals of rectangle are congruent, are congruent, as well as those rectangles divides to each other in congruent part. That means here diagonals are diagonals are bisector of each other. Bisector of each other. Then see here if AC is of 10 centimeter. AC here 10 centimeter. Then BD is of also 10 centimeter. And here if AC is 10 centimeter, then here OA is equals to OC is of 5 centimeter. That means OA is 5 centimeter and OC is of 5 centimeter. Then we can solve the examples which is based on those properties of rectangle taking few examples. You may solve the few examples which is based on those properties of rectangle also. That is about the content given in the bridge course program of 9th mathematics from 19th July to 25th July. July. Then exercise are given in this video at the last. Then you may solve those exercises in your textbook. Thank you.